Is your water safe to drink? For many New Mexicans, the answer is no. According to results of a year-long Larry Barker investigation, many New Mexicans are unknowingly drinking water dangerously contaminated with cancer-causing elements. In fact, we found the water in many New Mexico communities so tainted it's been in violation of federal regulations for years. Here's Larry's investigation, Troubled Waters. What bothers me is that New Mexicans are going with water that doesn't meet federal drinking water standards. It's really scary that there are so many systems that are out of compliance. We live in a country where clean, safe drinking water is a right. The water coming out of our taps shouldn't be a hazard to us. Visit this northern New Mexico community and you will be in a danger zone. There are no warning signs and even some folks who live in the Pewaukee Terrace's mobile home park may be unaware of the peril. You see, there's something wrong with the water. And the only way to detect this invisible threat is in a laboratory. Test results show Pewaukee Terrace's water contaminated with more than twice the legal limit of uranium. Uranium first showed up in the water here four years ago. Melanie Bench is with the Environmental Working Group. No one should be drinking a lot of uranium in their water. Over time, uranium in drinking water can weaken the immune system and impact kidney function. John Roderick heads up New Mexico's Water Protection Division. Scientific evidence shows that long-term exposures to elevated levels of naturally occurring uranium are not safe, have the potential to build up in the body. Since 2021, Pewaukee Terraces has been slapped with a dozen EPA violations. Despite the infractions, the mobile home park has not installed equipment to remove uranium from its water supply. Is the drinking water at Pewaukee Terraces mobile home park safe today? As defined by the Safe Drinking Water Act, no, it's not compliant. And it's not just Pewaukee Terraces. Our investigation finds unsafe drinking water in communities across New Mexico. In fact, there are so many violations, enforcement is nearly impossible. James Kenny heads up New Mexico's Environment Department. Given the widespread non-compliance in drinking water from drinking water facilities in New Mexico, we are not equipped uh, from a staff perspective to hold everyone accountable all at once. That's, that's not something we have the ability to do. So there's really no excuse for years of non-compliance. I think it is the duty of the state environmental agencies to use the, whatever resources they have uh, to make sure that people in the state are having have access to safe and clean drinking water. It's a really important public health issue. For example, De La Te Mobile Manor in Mesilla Park. Over the past seven years, residents here have been drinking water contaminated with uranium. De La Te has racked up 20 violations of EPA regs. How are you going to get their attention? Unfortunately, this is likely going to take an uh, administrative compliance order with penalties to get their attention and to get everybody to understand that we have a community here. We have this, this system where people are at risk. And there's more. Since 2017, the town of Springer has violated safe drinking water regulations more than 50 times. Over a seven year period, town residents have been exposed to excessive levels of a cancer causing substance called trihalomethanes. Janet Baldwin is a professor of environmental engineering at Roger Williams University. Trihalomethanes cause cancer. They cause cancer, of liver, kidney, lung cancer, central nervous system problems. It is a well-known um, carcinogen. Trihalomethane, which is a byproduct of the chlorination process, first turned up in Springer's drinking water 20 years ago. Is the town of Springer's uh, water supply, is it safe? It is not safe with regard to meeting the Safe Drinking Water Act requirements.
Springer officials say they are trying to correct the violations. However, they say the town's remote location makes it difficult to find qualified personnel with the expertise to bring the water plant into compliance. Since 2011, residents of the Cassandra subdivision near Moriarty have been drinking water laden with high levels of radium, which can lead to blood disorders and cancer. Of the 137 violation notices, how many did Cassandra comply with? To my knowledge, none of them. Can you assure consumers who rely on the Cassandra system that the water they drink is safe? We cannot. Cassandra was fined $12,000 for violating EPA regs. However, the fine remains uncollected and the water system is still out of compliance. It's the same story at Valencia County's El Shaddai subdivision. Despite compiling 71 EPA violations, the water system remains out of compliance. For a dozen years, water from the Camino Real Regional Utility in Sunland Park has been contaminated with arsenic. Some of the health impacts associated with arsenic exposure include uh, liver harms, kidney harms, lung and prostate cancers, uh, liver and kidney cancers. The Sunland Park utility has been slapped with more than 120 EPA violations, most of which have been ignored. There is an arsenic treatment plant, but sometime last year, someone turned it off and didn't tell anybody. What was your reaction when you heard the Camino Real was not treating its water for arsenic? To put it bluntly, I was offended on a personal level and on a professional level that this could take place. The Camino Real utility was fined $200,000 for arsenic violations. The penalty has been appealed. The six water systems identified in our investigation have collectively accumulated 413 safe drinking water violations. Today, none of those systems are in compliance with the law. How does the Environment Department protect consumers from long-term exposure to cancer-causing substances in their water by just simply writing letters? It's safe to say that just writing the letters has not been effective and is not effective. What grade would you give the Environment Department's enforcement of the Safe Drinking Water Act in New Mexico? I would have to say, historically up to this point, sadly, unfortunately, probably a D. Secretary Kinney says any water system that knowingly provides unsafe water to consumers constitutes a degree of criminal behavior. Focusing in on those that are getting water that doesn't meet drinking water standards, it shouldn't happen in, in our society and in a state like New Mexico. But it does. But it absolutely does. Clearly, with years of noncompliance and us issuing notices of violation and even some penalties, not getting a change in behavior, shame on us if we just continue down that same path. Today, do you have the resources to effectively address? No, we don't have the resources in our drinking water program to protect all New Mexicans every day at all times. We don't. Out of 1,100 public water systems in the state, about 40% fail to meet safe drinking water standards. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13. If you'd like to know if your water complies with Safe Drinking Waters Act, go to alwaysonkrqe.com.